in this video we will see how to create a local notification now in order to integrate the local notification we gonna use a awesome package called awesome notification so first let's go to its pub.dev page and here we will copy this package name by clicking on this copy icon and then inside our project we will paste it inside the pugspec.yml file and then make sure you save the file or click on the download button in order to fetch the package and after that let's do the setup for android and ios respectively now for the android setup now here inside the pill.gradle file we have to change the minimum sdk version to 21 and compile and target sdk versions to 33 so to do that open the project and navigate to build.gradle file which is inside the android slash app so in it we will change the compile sdk version to 33 then change the minimum SDK version to 21 and target SDK version to 33. Then inside the Android manifest file, we need to add Android exported equal to 2. So back to the project, here we will open the Android manifest file. Then inside the activity tag, just make sure to add this Android exported equal to true attribute. And that's all the setup we are required to get started in Android. Now for the iOS setup, and by surprise, we actually don't require that much setup for iOS. If I'm being honest, it will be just verifying if this required variable have their desired value. So to check this, go back to your project and right click on the iOS folder and click on open in Xcode. And inside the Xcode, make sure to select the runner in the upper left corner and click on the build setting. Now here, we'll make sure that these variables are set to their appropriate value. So first, let's find the build library for distribution and it is set to no. Check. Then the safe API extension and that's to set to no. Check. And lastly, make sure that the iOS deployment target is set to iOS 11. And that's all the things we need to verify in order to get started in iOS. Now we will initialize the awesome notification so that if we can create notifications in the later videos. So in the main.dart file inside the main function call the awesome notification constructor and then call dot initialize. Now this method will initialize the plugin and as you can see it takes four parameters a default icon, channels, group channels and debug. So first for the default icon we'll pass a null value so that it uses the default icon of the application. But later we will see how to add a custom icon. Then we will pass a list of notification channel which are essential for creating the notification. So in it we will specify the channel key, channel name, channel description which will be shown in the notification setting of the application like this. And then set the debug to true. And then inside my home page stateful widget we will override the init state method. Now as per the latest version of Android and iOS, we are required to ask the user's permission to send notification. So to do that, we will call awesome notification dot is notification allowed and this will give us the current status of the notification. And based on that, we will check if is allowed is false, then call awesome notification dot request permission to send notification. And that's all for the initialization. Now if we hot restart the application, we will get a pop-up inside the application which says allow notification course to send you notification. Now the user can click on allow or don't allow. Please click on the allow button. Now let's create the notification. So let's do it. Now inside the code, I have made this small change. I have added an elevated button with the child of text trigger notification and an empty on press callback. Now, in order to trigger a notification, we have to create a function name trigger notification. So first, let's change this empty callback to trigger notification and then up here we'll create the trigger notification function and inside it call also notifications dot create notification. This method requires the notification content. So let's add content equal to notification content. Now here we are required to specify a unique ID and a channel key and a lot of other properties which spoiler alert we're gonna look in the coming videos but in order to create a basic notification we only need to specify title and body. So inside the notification content first we'll specify a unique ID then the channel key 
equal to basic channel which we have created inside the initialize method as you can see here. Then we will add a title equal to simple notification but it could be whatever you want. Then add a body and now if we hot restart and as I click on this trigger notification you can see we get a new notification here with the exact same title and body. Now feel free to play around with it and if you like to learn more about other types of notifications such as notification with an action button, progress bar, a group chat notification and a media playback notification and a lot more then check the link in the description.